teachers, Devin Seabold here with your weekly a top of 10. And yes, I know I'm looking a little disheveled. It's because I quit teaching in January. Don't have to care about how I look. I'm not wearing pants, let's get started. All right, these are your top 10 signs that you just quit your job as a teacher. Number 10, when you go to the bathroom, your pants get wet, not from the art of actually using the restroom. It's from the tears of joy that stream down your face as you realize you can dictate when you use the restroom. It's fantastic, a feeling like no other. Number nine, you gain 72 pounds the first week off because your body has never experienced lunch before. It's amazing. It's not a, a quick string cheese stick out the door with a sparkling water that's warm because you grabbed it out of the car. Number eight, you start fights with your ex just to experience another parent-teacher conference. Sometimes, you know, you just miss drama. Doot, doot, doot. Hey, just so you know, you're doing a terrible job parenting the kids. See how that goes? It's, it's great. And guess what? The boss can't fire you for that one. Maybe the judge can. Number seven, you've replaced your dry erase marker on the rear of your pants with Cheetos on the front of them. The Cheeto dust, you know, you come home, you got dry erase on the rear, no more. Cheeto dust on the front from sitting around watching prices right all afternoon. Number six, you find yourself hitting reply all to the car warranty emails. You know, those annoying spam emails, just hit reply all, thank you. Reply all, I'd love more info. Reply all, you're welcome. Just really annoying. Number five, you go to the punk rock concert so you can yell at people with holes in their jeans. Dress code, dress code. Hey, what are we doing here, sir? Huh? Yeah, misfits, huh? Well, you're looking kind of misfitty. You gotta uh, change it up. Number four, you ignore all acronyms. I hate acronyms, I'm done with them. Everything acronyms is teaching, I'm, I'm finished. Even when the doctor's like, sir, uh, you have uh, HPV? No, not listening, not listening. Don't even wanna know what that is. I'm not, I'm not even bothering. Number three, you drive by the playgrounds with the windows down so you can hear kids and you know you don't have to deal with it. Oh, is that a child that fell? Oh, hopefully there's an adult nearby because I am on my way to buy a scratch off. All right, number two, your fitness instructor refuses to let you rest between reps so you stage a sick out. You know what? I know how this works. I've been in a union for 13 years. You let me rest or uh, I'm calling out. I'm calling out for good. No substitute workouts, by the way. Number one, the number one way you can tell that a teacher just quit their job, you incessantly worry about poverty. But then you realize it's no different than when you were a teacher. Ah, same pay, ah, zero, zero. That's how it works. It, it evens out, right, math teachers? I don't know. Anyways, this has been your weekly top 10 with Devin Siebold. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Thanks, see you next week.